Today's story is The Frog Prince, written by Edith Tarkoff and illustrated by James Marshall. Actually, retold by Edith Tarkoff. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She had a golden ball, and it was her favorite plaything. She took it wherever she went. One day, the princess was playing in the woods near a well. She threw her ball high into the air and it fell, splash, into the well. The princess watched her golden ball sink deep into the water of the well. and She began to cry. She cried harder and harder. Suddenly, someone said, What is the matter, princess? Why are you making so much noise? The princess looked around. She looked into the well. An ugly little frog was looking up at her. The frog asked again, What is the matter, princess? Oh, it's you, you old water splasher, the princess said. My golden ball has fallen into the well. That is why I'm crying. Stop crying, said the frog. Maybe I can help you. Will you, what will you give me if I get your ball for you? I will give you whatever you want, dear frog, said the princess. Would you like my fine silk dress or my necklace of pearls? Or would you like my golden crown? No, said the frog. What would I do with your fine silk dress or your necklace of pearls? And what would I do with your golden crown? What do you want then? The princess asked. The frog looked at the beautiful princess. He said, I want to be your friend and playmate. I want to sit with you at the supper table. I want to eat with you from your golden plate and drink with you from your golden cup. I want to sleep on your fine silk pillow. If you promise to let me do these things, I will get the ball for you. The princess said, I promise. She thought, how can this nasty little frog come to the castle and be my playmate? He has to stay here in his well. And she said again, I promise. Now the frog went down deep into the well. Soon he came up with the golden ball in his mouth. He threw it onto the grass. Oh, said the princess, my golden ball. She picked it up and ran away. Wait, wait, cried the frog. Take me with you. I can't go as fast as you. But the princess did not wait. She ran home to the castle, and soon she forgot all about the poor little frog. The next day at supper time, the princess sat at the table with her father, the king, and all the people of the court. Suddenly, everyone heard some strange noises outside. Splish, splash, splish, splash. It was the sound of wet little feet coming up the stairs to the castle. Then, flip flap, flip flap, there was a slippery little knock at the door. And someone called, Princess, Princess, open up. Princess, Princess, let us sup. The princess ran to the door and opened it. When she saw the frog, she shut the door quickly. The princess came running back to the table. The king looked at her. What are you afraid of, daughter? He asked, is there a giant at the door who wants to carry you off? Oh, no, father, said the princess. It is not a giant. It's a nasty little frog. The princess told her father how the frog had found her ball. And she told him about her promise. I promised him I would let him be my friend and playmate, she said. But I never thought he could come out of the well. Flip, flap, flip, 
flap. There was that slippery little knock again, and someone called, Princess, Princess, open up. Princess, Princess, let us sup. Remember who brought you the ball that fell? Remember your promise by the well? You must keep your promise, daughter, said the king. Open the door and let the frog in. And so the princess had to open the door. The frog hopped in and followed her to the table. He stopped by her chair. Pick me up and put me next to your plate, said the frog. Go ahead, the king said. Do as the frog says. You must keep your promise. The princess had to put the frog on the table. Everyone could see that she really did not want to do it. The frog ate with the princess from her golden plate, and he drank with her from her golden cup. The frog liked his supper very much, but the princess could not eat a thing. She's as green as the frog. At last, the frog said, Now I am ready to go to sleep. Carry me new to your bedroom and put me on your fine silk pillow. The princess began to cry. Stop crying, said the king, and do as the frog says. You made a promise, and you must keep it. And so the princess had to carry the frog to her bedroom. She took hold of him with two fingers, and she put him in a corner. But the frog said, I am tired. I want to go to sleep on a fine bed, just like you. Put me on your silk pillow, or I will tell your father. That made the princess very angry. She picked up the frog, and she threw him against the wall. But when he fell to the floor, the frog was no longer a frog. Now he was a tall prince with beautiful kind eyes and he was smiling at the princess. A wicked witch turned me into a frog, he said, but now the spell is broken. The very next day, the prince and the princess were married. A golden coach with eight white horses drove up to the castle. The prince now took the princess to to his own land, and they lived there forever, happily ever after. Hope you enjoyed the frog prince. Love you.